So what am I going to report on today? Busch Gardens Tampa Bay have apparently filed for planning permission for Project Jethro, a brand new ride for the 2021 season. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadog Stubble, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. Now I didn't think I'd be uploading so much today. Uh, we've got videos that have been uploaded today, we've got a, a video on the Axis Coaster concepts that were revealed from SNS. Uh, we've also got a news update that we put online um, also from IAPA. Uh, on the new name for the San Diego SeaWorld Dive Coaster, known as Emperor now, not Mako, uh, themed after the Emperor Penguins. So we've got those two news updates. We also upload the news update from Halloween Horror Nights Orlando about the revealing of the 2020 dates, and of course, um, the te apparent 10 new mazes um, being promised as well. So that was a good update. Tomorrow, you're going to see an update in the evening from Chessington World of Adventures on their 2020 Halloween dates. Uh, we've got some more videos to come over the weekend from IAPA. Um, obviously, some more updates, I'm sure, will come in the next few days as well. But this update is from Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, and this is on 2021. Now, Bush Gardens Williamsburg might be investing in another coaster, but Tampa doesn't seem like to be going down that route. Now... This was officially found from Florida Coaster Kings on their social media, so make sure you go check them out. Uh, but basically, Project Jethro has been filed by Busch Gardens Tampa for 2021. Now, apparently, reportedly from these plans, from these filings, it seems very much like it could be, not confirmed from the plans, but could potentially be, an SNS screaming swing by the size of the site. Now, this is go. If you don't know where this is going, this is basically going on the former site of Rhino Rally, uh, which was a safari jeep ride. Um, you got these things now all around the world. You got a safari off road adventure, a Six Flags Great Adventure. Um, right here in the UK, you've got Zufari uh, riding to Africa at Chessington World of Adventures. So you've got these kind of rides everywhere. Uh, basically, this one's set to be replaced by what looks to be an SNS Screaming Swing for the 2021 season. Now, it's not confirmed by the plans that it could be an SNS Screaming Swing. However, I think, in my personal opinion, in terms of the chain, that is the most likely option, in my opinion, due to the fact that they've done that kind of ride in the past. We know that uh, 2019, uh, the year before Pantheon opens next year, uh, we know they added a Screaming Swing at Bush Gardens Williamsburg in the Irish section. Uh, called Finnegan's Flyer, as well as the Cutback Water Coaster in the water park uh, for the 2019 season. So we, we know they've done Screaming Swings in the Bush Gardens and SeaWorld chain in the past. So I don't think that next year, 2021 will be any exception. I think 2021, we will, well, next year, we will see the announcement of a 2021 Screaming Swing at Bush Gardens Tampa. What the theme is, we don't know. I mean, with the codename Project Jethro, it sounds very uh, unique. Uh, now, whether the code name has anything to do with the actual theme and name of the actual ride itself, we do not know at this point. All we know is it could be an SNS Screaming Swing, again, not confirmed, uh, but from the size of the ride, it pretty much could be. We know it's going to be, well, it's, we know it's being planned on the site of Rhino Rally. Uh, of course, that opened uh, at the end of May 2001. It closed at the end of the 2014 season. They announced in January 2015 that it would be closed permanently. It won't be coming back. Uh, and that site's been untouched for future development for so many years now. So it's nice to see Tampa using that Rhino Rally site. Now we believe to see a new house of gravel uh, or, or like a new gravel sort of uh, house path maybe uh, that's being built next to it. So it sort of fills another part of the site in uh, from, what, from what we sort of understand from these plans. Um, but the main sort of queue uh, and ride area seems to be going on like the main bit of land where Rhino Rally was. So uh, it's very interesting to, to sort of hear about this and sort of uh, find out about this. Now, one of the big questions, if it is true it's going to be a Screaming Swing to come up is, is a Screaming Swing a good fit? And my personal opinion, it is. Because of the fact that it really adds a new sense of thrill to the flat rides lineup. And like I said before, it goes along with the Busch Gardens Williamsburg thing. They've had the Screaming Swing, 
Tampa needs one themselves. So I feel like Tampa are doing a really nice addition here. And to be fair, there isn't a lot of Screaming Swings in that Tampa area. So I do believe uh, that a Screaming Swing is a perfect addition for that area of the States. Uh, and I think it'd be a perfect flat ride and it's something unique to the state. Uh, so I definitely think that um, this ride is a, definitely a really good fit. Uh, and like I said before, the Rhino Rally site being used is perfect because we haven't seen development on that site for numerous years. So I feel like development was needed um, for that site. So very good move by Tampa Bay themselves. Uh, and overall, I'm just really excited about this project. So I'm gonna keep really close tabs on this project. Um, and as much details I can give you when more details gets revealed I will reveal to you uh, those details in future course but there we go so not much to talk about in terms of, this is just first details this is just a few first details that we found out about recently so make sure you leave your comments and theories down below in the comment section of this video uh, what do you think about this because I'd love to reply to every single comment like I always do uh, so make sure you try and get as many comments in as possible, tell your friends to comment down below, uh, make sure you share the channel around with lots of friends, let's get this channel going bigger and bigger and bigger. I didn't think I'd reach my first thousand in my very first year, and we're nearly at, um, like, one th we're nearly at 1,200 we're nearly halfway to 1,500 subs in the first year. You know, I think we're nearly at 300,000 views across nearly 700 videos, which is brilliant. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this theme park news from update. Like I said, I'm going to keep close tabs on this news update as much as I can. Uh, but for now, guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts and theories down below. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And share the channel around with your friends and family. My name is Coast Chow, clear on the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow from Chessington Halloween 2020. I'm Coast Chow, clear on the coast of life. And I'll see you guys then. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.